Begin by aligning the pegs and pushing the mold together. Secure with a strap or rubber band. If the mold has more than two parts, keep in mind how you would disassemble the mold. For this particular mold, we will want to take the bottom off before the sides, so it is the last piece that we secure. Mix the slip thoroughly using a drill and a mixer attachment. Slowly pour the slip into the mold until it is all the way full. Keep in mind that the slip volume will reduce as the plaster mold pulls the moisture out of the slip. If you are pouring the handle, Pour very slowly to assure a complete fill. Depending on the slip you are using and the size of the mold, allow the mold to set up anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Here we are using Mako Stoneware Slip and letting the mold set for 30 minutes before pouring out the slip. Once you have poured out the slip, allow the piece to set up for about an hour or until the walls are no longer tacky. Clean the pour hole and carefully disassemble the mold to remove the piece. Cut the spouts off using a fettling knife and clean the seams. Attach a handle if applicable. If the piece is still wet, you can just attach with slip. Otherwise, be sure to slip and score your pieces. Once the piece is dry, clean the edges and the seams with a damp sponge, and then you are ready for the bisque kiln.